breakfast of champions. Grab no water. I gotta sip this. I need a clear head. To
pushing up this big old hill and I heard this voice say, do you need some water? I said, yes, I've been out since yesterday. And she came out real slow, about an 80 year old woman in her bathrobe. Her husband, who must have been 90, was toddling after her. He said, where are you going? No, he said, where did you come from? I said, Michigan. And by then she had given me an ice cold bottle of water. And I was chugging it. And she said, uh, Michigan, well, how long does it take you? And then I started choking on the water because I guzzled it too fast. I just had to go and wait about three minutes. And then I explained the whole story. It was fun talking to them. I was downwind from them. And they were really scared of the coronavirus. And, uh, in fact, I had to do like that to get the water. And uh, then we talked for a while. They were really scared. And then the wind shifted. And I said, hey, the wind has shifted. I got to move. And I did. And they went back in the house. And the old man yelled, God bless you. I said, God bless you too. And I held up, held up the water. That was cool. Walking on sunshine. This happens now and then. The GPS doesn't know what they're talking about. I'm supposed to be on the greenway. Now I can push over the soggy grass. Or I can go back through that tunnel. I guess I'll go back through the tunnel. been flooded out. for more rattlesnakes. I have certain things I do whenever I'm at a motel. One of them is the key always goes right next to the TV. And there's a bunch more. I just thought, all right, I don't have a stove yet. And I do have this beef, which is not refrigerated. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go bad. And I'm hungry, and I got hamburger buns. So I'm just going to microwave it. See what happens. You do it with bacon. We'll see. But I'm a hungry guy. And I don't want to go out and pick anything up or have anything delivered because it'll ding my budget even more. What happened with the budget was I planned on having to get a hotel after the first night or two. 
because I haven't ridden my bicycle in a year. And I was uh, restarting in the mountains. And so I just thought I'm not going to push myself beyond tired, too exhausted. And why am I not going to do that? Because there's a coronavirus out there. And if I weaken my immune system, um, that's a dumb idea. So I'm going to relax. I'm going to take it easy. And then I'll get back on the road when I feel that uh, I can do it for another day up these mountains. And I can. I'll be fine. It happens this time. At the beginning of every trip, i got to get back in shape. Because how do you prepare for this? Would you go to the gym and get on a treadmill and, and do 8 hours, 10 hours? Every 20 minutes, stop and fiddle with gear and unpack this and lift that. And then all of a sudden the treadmill gets like you're going up a mountain. I mean, if you do all that, if you could simulate what I'm doing, it could get in shape beforehand. But I don't want to waste all that time getting in shape beforehand. It's going to happen anyway. If I'm gentle with myself and careful, I'm going to be fine. But that's a lot of time with the gym. And that's not adventurous. Sorry. So that's what I chose. And this is how I chose ahead of time to handle it. So I'm just going to relax and make sure I'm healthy and strong and not depleted and exhausted so the virus gets me. Now look, I was telling you, I got no camp stove because everybody at Walmart had bought everything related. And so I, I also have no water. Now I do, I'm in town. But, so I bought this thinking at Walmart on the same trip I was going to get a camp stove like I usually use. Open this thing. And, uh, they didn't have any, and I called the manager over, and he said, I said, do you have any in back? This is really important. We don't have any form of camp stove. Everybody went to the mountains, and they cleaned out our shelves beforehand to wait out the coronavirus. So everybody's out there. Look at that. Presto! Bet you it needs four minutes. So they went to... Uh, out to the mountains and when I'm riding through the mountains on my bicycle there's a whole bunch of people that have these little places and you could tell that it's a uh, it's like their hideout or their cottage in the woods because it has all these no trespassing signs all around anyway that's what I think let's watch this this is interesting zoom 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 baby Now see, my commitment to myself to up my game with my videos and do the things I'm doing, uh, but also do them on camera, has, uh, has inconvenienced me, friend. I'll be honest with you, I would already be stripped off all my sweaty clothes and in the shower, but I'm, instead I'm hungry and I can't come out here after the shower and cook stuff and tell you about it on camera, buck naked. So this is why this is happening now. I hope you appreciate my sacrifice. I'm gonna, this already smells good. This, uh, I was so glad that I got the sliced ribeye because instead of a real thick steak that would just gum it up I think to microwave it. But this might work for my goal at dinner time of deliciousness. It smells good. And I get the buns. I got salt and garlic powder in my ear. Delicious. That's perfect. That's perfect. Alright. I've had this camera for what five years now? performed so well and what am I doing with it? I'm trying to figure out if I'm zooming or not. I must be tired. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I think I'll make it uh, French dip. There we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh! Success!
goodness. <laughs> French dip. Oh man. That is really, really good. When I was a little boy, they invented the microwave. And uh, it came into commercial use. And it was this monster, huge machine. And they advertised it like it could cook anything. Oh, you want to roast a turkey? Throw it in the microwave. It'll be done in uh, 20 minutes. Pot roast? Yeah, microwave it. Delicious. Well, browning is a thing. And the crispy turkey skin or the seared beautiful roast. I mean, it wasn't anything like it. Turned out it's best for uh, making popcorn and reheating leftovers. That's fine, but they didn't know that that wasn't how you can use a microwave. My mom went out to Sears and came home with their display microwave that uh, she had got like half price. So we had this thing in our kitchen and she tried to cook chicken and it turned into this rubbery, nasty mess. The skin looked like it hadn't been cooked at all. We wouldn't eat it. And uh, she was mad at us. But we were united. Mom, we, you, you can't serve this chicken for dinner. It's... Anyway, so that's why I was skeptical about I could take a thin sliced ribeye, throw it on a paper plate, and come out with a anything edible for tonight because I'm hungry. And then uh, it worked perfectly, as you saw. And then with the juices, you just, now you've got a French dip. That's what's really cool. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Very nice. So I am real happy with microwave French dip. Mm, that's good. I know some will say, hey, Doug, what's your deal? What do you just eat? French dip for dinner and nothing else? Meat and bread? That's not healthy. Well, look what I got. Because of the coronavirus, they, they've shut down all the uh, breakfast nooks. But they uh, wrapped everything in saran wrap, so now it's safe. It's safe. And I'm going to eat this later. This saves me from my other uh, action I take when I need to supplement my uh, diet. I just chug an orange soda. All right, now here's what we're going to do. I've got this lotion. My mom taught me this when I got sunburned when I was a little boy, which happened quite often. My dad has had, well, he's gone now. He had terrible problems with uh, skin cancer because he just loved to golf. He wore his hat a lot. He was a very uh, stylish man. I will, now that I've learned to edit, I will put in some of my dad as a young man golfing right now. But I'll probably narrate over it because I know how to do that now. So here's the deal. Dad would love to golf and he's got that ruddy Irish skin. My mom has descended from the Duke of Durham. And so she didn't get any cash. But uh, the bloodline goes back. She's, she was in the DAR. So I'm qualified to uh, do that if I want. The male equivalent. Someday maybe, but I'm having too much fun right now. Sorry, Mom. But uh, I think because my dad had so much skin cancer all his life, and I've been out in the sun all my life, uh, and I haven't had any. Um, so I think it's that mix of the British and the Irish genes, which has happened many times in human history. But the curious thing about me also is I'm not bald. I mean, everybody, every man my age that uh, is related to me has some form of bald spot. And, uh, I don't know why I don't, but I'm glad because I would be a big baby and I'd be very vain about that if I didn't have uh, a nice head of hair being honest here. Also, I'm naked. Hey Jude, we know you're nude. Don't try and fake it, we know you're naked. <laughs>